Hello guys, so here we go 1966 F100 V8 5.0 Been doing a little bit of uh, work on it And um, I try to I did most of my wiring the way I want it Before I put some heat cover and uh, tape it up really good I moved the uh, ignition coil too I don't know if you've seen that last video but the ignition coil was on this side, I didn't like that, so we put it on this side and uh, kind of got real good wire uh, ground to it. Uh, did the wiring coming over there? Everything supposed to be the way I want it, except for the fuel pump. I still run, I'm still running um, a wire uh, to the fuel pump from the switch that I. Uh, kind of got on it right there I am gonna make a separate video explaining how did I wire that up and um, so but I wanted to share with you guys something that I'm about to uh, get done on this thing and uh, it is that I don't know if you can see that right there that it's a uh, 2000 Nissan Frontier so I was like you know what that little truck is a small and I, I cranked the truck up, I drove it around around the uh, uh, the street over here. And the brakes, they are so hard I can't get, you know, I can't get it to stop really good. It, they're so hard. So, I was like, uh, I need power brakes. I've been looking online, uh, it is, the kits for the power brakes are almost 600 bucks, 700 dollars for the cheap ones. You know, there's some over there that you can buy for 1500 bucks and stuff like that. But, you know, we're going to try... To stay on the low side of his pens over here so looked at that truck right there and went and checked out the brake booster brake master cylinder that thing is lovely 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 so what I did is I took everything apart from that truck I took uh, the uh, brake booster brake master cylinder and the brake pedal and I want to share with you guys what I am thinking about this doing with this thing so if you look at it right here I got uh, the master cylinder, I got the uh, brake booster, and I got the pedal. You know the uh, brake switch or brake light switch on this truck comes uh, by oil pressure. So I took the pedal assembly from the uh, Nissan Frontier 4 cylinder and uh, as you can see this had the two sensors so we're gonna use one of these sensors to do the uh, brake light switch and uh, look these two extensions were on the Nissan Frontier so I got them out of there we're gonna use that okay so what I done so far on the truck I took the uh, original master cylinder off okay as you can see it's mounted right here two bolts and uh, I went on the inside I took my uh, clutch pedal assembly clutch and brake pedal assembly and I took it out it was uh it had uh, two, four, uh, two, four bolts mounted on the uh, firewall right there. Four bolts. It was the two upper ones and the two lower ones. The center ones are the ones for the... Uh, no, actually, the, the bottom ones are for the uh, master cylinder. It had a bracket that comes over here and only had a 14 bolt. I had to take the um, steering column loose. It's just a loose right now. We're not going to take it out. So, looking at it, I did my little template, piece of paper, I laid it, I laid it on the, uh, on the brake pedal, like this, kind of, you know, uh, draw it out and uh, mark the holes, and then I came over here to the truck, and uh, put it up like this, some kind of way like that and I marked the four, four holes so I kind of already started the holes where the four bolts are gonna go for the booster now if you see this little thing right here this little angle uh, on the firewall that might need to be trimmed off but remember we got two little extensions from the Nissan Frontier that that's gonna push the uh, master cylinder not the master cylinder the brake booster out far enough to clear that little angle looking part of the uh, um, 
what's the name of uh, um, firewall. So now that would be one modification we had to do. This is on the inside, okay, on the inside of the uh, uh, frontier. So we're gonna use it on the outside so we can clear that out. Now, looking at the pedal, I went down inside the truck and I was checking it out. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can uh, hold the camera while I'm checking it out and showing you the way it's gonna sit. I don't know if you're gonna be able to uh, forgive me for uh, the camera, it moves kinda crazy. But check it out, it sits right there beautiful it sits beautiful um i'm gonna switch hands check it out it fits beautiful so i got it where the uh where the uh, uh master cylinder or brake booster uh is gonna uh come in and uh gonna hook to the pedal now the only modification we're gonna have to do on the inside is that we gotta clear the um, steering column and to do that I gotta come out straight I gotta go out that way and come down okay so I'll uh, come down and kind of get close to uh, closer to the gas pedal so let me get it out and show you what I'm thinking thinking on doing with this thing now Checking it out, I gotta, the steering column sits right here. So I gotta clear it. What I'm thinking about doing is, we're gonna cut that pedal right here. We're gonna cut this part. We're gonna cut this part, okay? We're gonna cut from here, all the way over here. We're gonna use this elbow. You see, this is a nice, uh, elbow to uh, weld it we're gonna cut right here right here we're gonna weld this part right here so we can uh, come out right here and like that from there on we might end up cutting the pedal right here so we can weld the rest of the pedal going down and uh, make it look like that so this is gonna be the first project we're gonna do on the uh, f100 hopefully uh, it turns out okay I'm a uh, try to share with you guys once I get it all mounted and we're gonna test it together so the only thing I'm thinking that is gonna give me a little headache is gonna be the brake lines but I don't think it's gonna be too much so now check it out I I found this little fitting this union in the um, Nissan Frontier okay so what I'm thinking on doing is I'm gonna bring this line to one of the inlets on this thing I'm going to bring this other line and I'm going to come back to the other inlet thing. So, because the, the F100 only has one brake line, okay? So, we're going to use this as the outlet and we're going to use these two as the inlet. So, either way, if you are pressing the brake pedal, either the front or the rear is going to make pressure to the brakes and it's going to make the truck stop. So, that's going to be to start, okay? But later down the road, we probably just switch it out like uh, front and rear and front on the master cylinder too on the truck so we're gonna start doing this what I gotta do right now is we're gonna make those four holes bigger enough for the uh, bolts or the studs to go in there we're gonna go ahead and start setting it up and uh, I'm gonna make another video on when I get it all set up okay so thank you for watching this video hopefully the next one is gonna be more detail on how i did everything to mount it so catch you on the next one thank you for watching